I know. I, yeah, I, do, I just had a thought, um, uh, a rare thing, but I did for Delma, <laughs> which is that you talk about all the, the great uh, teachers that have been sent. And I thought, and I gave that list of the great teachers through time. That, uh, but then I thought, um, what about um, Joseph Smith, who, for example, from the Mormon religion, who met the angel Moroni um, thrice mm -hmm. and was given gold plates? And uh, would he qualify as somebody who was sent? Uh, not, not to, no, we wouldn't see You're see drawing Joseph the Smith. line, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, would say, you know. we would say that he's an inspired person. But he wasn't sent. But, but not as a manifestation of God. There are set, well, set, how can you tell? Well, what, how can you tell? I guess this is, is where um, Baha'u'llah just says, investigate truth for yourself. Just go out, look into it with a searching eye, with a scientific approach. And I loved what Peter had said, you know, that the thing that puts people off religion is when they dogma and teachings are being shoved down your throat, whereas what we've been asked to do as mature so, individuals yeah. is search out truth for Indeed, ourselves. so Baha'u'llah, we see the last prophet? We see Because it kind of gets, you know that hand game, you split with my grandfather, the hand game like that, yeah. as to who's the last prophet. The it, latest but not the last is how... The latest. The latest but not the last in this progressive line, just like divine, just like educators in a school. I'll be with you, Amina, in a it's, second. I case my throat very quickly. Um, well, firstly, I just want to take issue with um, one thing that you say, Fidelma, which is, you know, religion as a, as a progressive force. You know, the fact is there, there are a handful of occasions, uh, and literally a handful, when religion historically has done something progressive, but there are absolutely overwhelming... Uh, numbers of examples where religion has been a, a, a force against progressiveness and, and we live in a world where there's lots of homophobia out there, a lot of it is religiously motivated. There's a lot of negative attitudes towards things like women's reproductive rights and they have a huge negative effect on millions and billions of women around the world and they're driven by religion. Now, actually what Susie says is right is that if you look at these religions in any detail, they are not all compatible. They, it, it's, it's absolutely impossible to sit there and go, well, no, I think we all believe in the same God but of course you practice it in a way which means gender apartheid, which means homophobia, which means taking rights away from people. And it's not okay. When you look, when you look, when you look at all of these things, how incompatible they are, either there's one true God, or what we've seen is the same kind of delusions occurring in lots of different places, in lots of points around the world, and what we should do is accept that they are delusions and move on in, in, a, in, a, in a humanist way and with progressive social values. Right. All those, all those great teachers, though, I, I won't ask you about L. Ron Hubbard, though I think we probably would, wouldn't, you wouldn't include him. Amina, Muslim Council of Britain, you converted from Christianity to Islam. Why do you believe Islam is right? Is, um, it, the, is it the true religion? To me, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm, right. um, I was brought up as a Christian, um, loved the teachings um, of the Bible, um, but I'm also very much a, a pragmatist. I, I like to have things proved to me before I will follow them. So I was looking for the truth. Um, and I had a friend who was Muslim, and um, she told, told me about the Qur'an. I was looking into the Qur'an, and there were lots of, uh, so many scientific facts in the Qur'an, which was written 1,400 years ago by an illiterate guy in a desert. I couldn't deny that it was the truth. These were things that they wouldn't have known then. So that, in, a, lot of in, stuff in was my, by, a, lot, a lot of that stuff was written before by, by Galen and people like that for the ancient Greeks, but he, he might it not was, have heard yeah, that. He, he, he wouldn't have known that anyway, so even, a, even if that was merchant, the case... Merchant roots maybe would have... Even, even if that was the case, yeah. there, was no, there would be no way that he would have been able to have access to this. So th many of the scientific facts in the Qur'an uh, are only just being re revealed now, mm. um, uh, you know, sort of by modern well, world, science. It says the world's flat, doesn't it, in the Qur'an? Laid, laid out like a carpet. No, it says that the world is egg-shaped, which scientifically it is. Well, they, they used to say, scholars used to say, when they thought the world was flat, that it says the world is flat. Yeah, and now I, they, so things change, yeah, in, in the, Yeah, in the, in the West, I think the, um, the, the, the Western... Uh, uh, scholars would say, yes, the world is flat, and if you go far enough, you're going to yeah. fall off the edge. I yeah. being what's that what's the clincher for you? What's the, what's the clincher? F for, being, for being a Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can ask any question of Islam, um, and it will give me a logical and scientifically proven answer. But I think very much in, in this debate, the, um, the, the essence of faith is, I think that, yes, I think personally that Islam is correct. Um, other people, of course, will, will debate that with me and disagree with me. And that's the beauty of religion, and that we, we must absolutely be tolerant of other religions or non-religions, because very much we talk about religion, we forget about people's beliefs in non-religion. So, for example, if someone's a cap capitalist well, or a Yeah, yeah, but whatever, beliefs have changed with science. So now most of yeah. the, most of the uh, 
the modern uh, religions accept science, they accept evolution, they accept the science, they accept all those things, because they've really got no choice, have they? Absolutely, but I mean, if you look back at Darwin, for example, there was a massive clash between Darwin theories and the, the church. At the time. At the time. Mm -hmm. because many what, church people what, got on board with uh, it, Yeah, right? absolutely, but yeah. what, what was happening, obviously, was because the Darwinistic theories were completely contradicting what the Bible was saying, oh. people were being kind of forced into a camp Okay, you either have to be one side or the other side, you we, can't be both, and people no. felt very divided. Mm. That's not the that case time. now, though, isn't it? Most of the churches do. So, Kate, do you want to come back here? Well, yeah, I mean, first, first of all, this idea that something in the Quran is, is somehow proves and, and is, has been proven by science, I mean, that's, firstly, it's just not true. There are, there are verses that contradict other parts of the Quran. 